expression of an alternative uh, uh, way of life. I think uh, life as we know as we know it uh, uh, has changed, mm. and uh, it's about us. Uh, um, becoming comfortable with news, seeing the new opportunities inherent uh, and going forward with that. But uh, with respect to an expression of, of architecture, we certainly know materialities are going to change. Some materials are less conducive to the spread of uh, the virus, others, le others uh, more so. And I think there will be a propensity of change to, to move to those that are uh, less conducive. So I think that change is going to come about. Uh, but whether architecture would, would uh, uh, create a new aesthetic, a new uh, um, uh, expression, I'm not so sure. But uh, I'm sure it's going to have an influence. I do think, though, that architecture and architects, in terms of their knowledge, would become a lot more valuable in the discussions and the conversations we're going to be having in terms of how we roll out safety and safe environments for people. Um, it sounds yes. very rudimentary sometimes, but it's in the details that we need to have this sorted out. And I think that there's no one better than an architect to be able to help us navigate these new waters. Yes. So I think that's, that's extremely true. I mean, even as uh, Buchmann and Partners in the Pretoria office, we, we are looking as to how we might do uh, business entirely differently. We don't see the need so much for a physical presence. Uh, yes, for that momentary meeting, uh, the engagement in the office uh, with clients, uh, we, that'll always be a, a, a need for that. Mm -hmm. um, although largely that could be done online. We've got uh, all our staff uh, working uh, online. And I think when our Joburg office opened up uh, uh, two weeks ago or a week ago, I think two weeks ago, I think only eight people came to the office. Uh, there's a tremendous um, psychological resistance I think people have to going back to the office. If I understood correctly, momentum uh, of their 3,000 staff decided to bring 1,000 back in the first week. And uh, in that first week, 80 people arrived on the Monday and on, and on the Tuesday, only 50 returned to the office. So it shows a tremendous uh, psychological restraint. Uh, until people feel safe, I don't think they're going to return. And there's really no need for them to return because I think business can essentially operate uh, in the manner that we have for the last three or four months. An online presence, uh, Zooming for meetings, mm -hmm. is uh, incredibly uh, uh, capable and efficient without the, the, the constraints with traffic, uh, et cetera. And I think our roads right now are a bit of a pleasure in comparison, especially between Pretoria and Johannesburg. And that reflected in, in the running of any business, a tremendous loss collectively. We take man hours spent in the traffic, loss of income, uh, 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 and productivity associated with those hours, also the cost of traveling and the maintenance costs associated with that traveling. All to such an extent that when this opportunity presented itself uh, as, a, as a group of directors, we thought, how could we reinvent our business? Mm -hmm. How do we, can we reinvent doing architecture? Because our staff is incredibly capable, tremendous integrity, uh, and we can trust them to be working from home, meeting deadlines like they did historically with, uh, without any uh, restraint uh, in, in that regard. Um, to such an extent that we're looking to possibly reduce our presence, uh, our footprint, as it were, in the Pretoria office by 60% and sublet the uh, existing or that 60% area to those tenant typologies that would be interested in the infrastructure that we have, mm -hmm. such as laser cutters, uh, computer servers, um, uh, printers, 3D printers. Um, and we think that that's a tremendous attraction at a very low rental to uh, uh, possibly businesses who are themselves looking to downsize mm -hmm. uh, uh, and yet still be accessible. We see that remaining 40% being uh, utilized for hot desking when staff need to come in for a meeting, when they need to make prints, new staff need to be trained as to the culture within the company and all the various programs that uh, we do uh, utilize mm -hmm. in our day-to-day -day business. So we think that there's a tremendous uh, opportunity to make 
uh, business more cost effective because uh, I think everyone's bottom line is under pressure yeah. and we really need to think outside the box. And these ideas come from uh, some of the very clever directors within the uh, Buchmann and, and, uh, and uh, uh, Partners Pretoria office who are looking to make the Pretoria office and some of the other offices almost a brand office, uh, still highly accessible to our clients no difference in the quality of service that they've historically received, uh, but just from a, a cost point of view, more effective. And I think right now everyone is reevaluating yeah. their business, how to make it uh, uh, more efficient. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, that's where we're at. It's, it's a new world. It is a new it's world. It's a great new opportunity. Yeah. It's a great new opportunity to challenge the way we've historically done things. Because I think so much of our responses are conditioned responses. Mm. And if we can overcome that conditioning, there's a, there's a new opportunities. Definitely. In terms of a word of advice, parting thoughts that you would like to send to our readers? Um, you're going to have to edit this, but... <laughs> That's okay. So... so, so uh, um, do you have any advice in terms of wait? Let me pause. So, so I think um, to be more reliant on family support um, uh, when you're working from home, as your kind of uh, um, uplifting uh, part of your life, uh, and I think that's where a value system is, where where you you um, rely on those around you to to lift you up, but also that own intrinsic motivation that you have within. Uh, as to be your kind of guidance as to uh, where you need to go and what you need to to foster. Um, the pro the not the problem. The great thing about working is that, and and this is the difficult thing which we which we would try not to lose, mm -hmm. is the the sensor idea that staff and the people around about you in the office is almost an extended family, mm -hmm. and and uh, those are. Those are valuable attributes and, and I think a valuable way of thinking, but not if, because not if, um, sometimes uh, you can treat family with liberty uh, and, and, and so the notion of an extended family can also be a negative thing. But if you can take the positive attributes of that and still in, in the collective Zoom sessions uh, to get everyone together and to, to stand the mood and spirit where each of your staff members are in are, are, and are at. Mm -hmm. um, and I think as, as uh, uh, leaders in any field, we're able to do that, to, to understand the, uh, the energy of the moment as it were, and to, to, to leverage that, to continue to encourage and inspire. I think those are important attributes. And I think this Thursday, uh, we are planning to have the first entire Pretoria office together on one Zoom. We've always done it up until now, individually, individual teams, you know, on, on the Zooms. But uh, I think that's going to be exciting because that kind of collective uh, gathering, the collective conscious of who we are in an office is an important attribute of that, of that office. And uh, those are the ideas which I think which we really need to reconnect with. But technology gives us and affords us that opportunity today to actually do that, to, to meet collectively. And you still have the same uh, jibes of interaction, uh, those guys wanting to have fun and to tease others. Uh, we find it in our, in our Zoom meetings. So human nature would always come to the fore. Those natural attributes of human nature will, will be reflected, I believe. Well, I hope you send us a photo of that Zoom call. I'd love to see it. It sounds very, very exciting. I'll do that. Stuart, thank do you that, very yes. much. I so appreciate your time. This document is available from Burgertman from your website, if I'm correct. That's great. That's yeah. great. We will also be posting it on our website, www.buildinganddecor.co.za. Dua, thank you very much for your time today. And if you've got any questions, his details are on the back of the document. You're more than welcome to contact him. Marlene, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well. Cheers. Ciao, bye.